Hello, I'm Rene and today I want to show you how to exchange a hook device or to adjust it. The tools what you need for this is the special screwdriver, cross screwdriver, which is in the toolbox of all ZSK machines. You need two Allen keys, 3mm and a 2mm, as well as a normal screwdriver, a flat one. To adjust the hook device well, you have to stay in the middle of the needle package or the head. In my case I have 12 needles, so I stay in needle number 6. First you have to remove the bobbin case. You lift up here the leash, get it out. Then you use the special screwdriver, the cross one. Go behind to the cross screws and open to remove the stitch plate. This is a stitch plate. Second, what you have to do is to remove the peaker. You take in this case the Allen key number three. And underneath you have two screws which you have to release. Right. On the right side of the arm you have to release another two screws for the finger which fixed the hook device. These are here the little two black ones. Please release the first one completely or remove it actually. The second one you have just to open it. After that, you can put the finger to the right side. That's it. To release the hook device itself, you have to open two screws. And for better understanding, I will show you first on this hook device where the screws are hidden. They are here behind. One is here. And the other one is there. I release now the first screw, then the second, and after that you can get it off. The hook device does have two pieces. The black part has to be rotated so that the open part is on top. Make even sure that this peak is also on top. Before you put on the hook device, you have to go to the T8 unit control. Please go first to L3 service. Then you press test machine attachment R2. And make sure that the blue bar is on position main shaft. If not, please use the arrow keys and confirm with L8 start testing. Now I have to give in the degrees for the hook device and the needle. In all ZSK machines it's actually 203. It can be a little bit more or less. The information you will find behind the head, a sticker, on the right side. I will give now 203 degrees and press again start testing. Now, as you can see, it's written on top to start the machine for 203 degrees. I have to press the green button or the start button. Press the start button. The machine will go to 202 between 203 degrees. The rest has to be adjusted on the main shaft by hand. To get a better overview for the degrees, please press L8 major position. 
you got the bigger numbers. As we know now, we have to rotate the main shaft to 203 degrees. All JFA machines from CSK does have an automatic brake, an electric brake. To release it, please press the button here and you will see it's a green icon there, it means I can rotate now the main shaft by hand. To fix it, press the button again. I have to release the main shaft brake and rotate the main shaft by hand to the right degree. Now I reach the 203 degrees and switched on the brake. We are able now to bring back the hook. Please make sure that the open part of the black part is on top. Put it now to the shaft. Release the jump stitch magnet. The jump stitch magnet is behind the head. If I release it, the needle bar drops down. Now you have to make sure that the needle bar is on the end position until you hear the click. For a better understanding, I will show you on this hook device where the point of hook has to be hidden behind the needle. This is the point of hook must be exactly behind the needle. I rotate now the hook device with the point of the peak here behind the needle. Make sure that this point of the hook is not in front, not before. It must be exactly behind the needle. The distance between the needle and the hook peak is exactly the thickness of a piece of paper. So you for testing you take a piece and bring it between the needle and the hook device and if this is reached you can fix the device. If I reach the position and I'm pretty sure the distance is exactly what I need, 0.3 mm by the way again, I test it quickly with a piece of paper again, it fits and then you tighten the screw. This is the first screw. Another possibility to test is if you take your finger and press the needle in, on the peak, it should shake a little bit, just a little. After that, you have to rotate again the main shaft to reach the second screw and fix it also. As I said, the second screw has to be tightened also. But unfortunately, it's in an unreachable position on top of here. In this situation, I have to release the main shaft brake again and rotate the main shaft until I can reach the second screw easier. Switch on the main shaft brake again and tighten the screw. The next step is to rotate the black unit inside the hook device with the closed part to the top. The top part does have a little gap. This gap is necessary for the finger. So please bring in the finger into this gap. The distance between the black unit and the finger should be 0.8 mm. Tighten now the black screws and make sure that you keep the distance between the black unit and the finger. Tight the second one. Please be careful, they are tiny.
to bring back the machine in the default position, I just have to get out of the program by pressing several times previous button. Stop testing. Previous, previous. Now we have to bring back the part with the picker on it. In this case, I lift it up and make sure that the part with the metal and the arm is equal or in the line. Now I will take it, bring it up, make sure that it is here in the line as well underneath. You can feel it with your fingers. And if you can fix it then, take the Allen key with the screw and tighten it. Take the second one and bring it in. Fix it well. That's it. At the end, we have to bring back the stitch plate. We put the stitch plate on top of it, take the screw, and bring the screws back. But don't tighten it too much. Because we need to adjust the stitch plate too. The needle has to be down and has to be exactly in the middle of the stitch plate. Now we have to release the jump stitch magnet once again. And we have to put down the needle into the stitch plate. In this case I have also to release the main shaft brake and to rotate the main shaft. Jump stitch magnet, release. Make sure it is fixed well until you hit a click. Now, release the major brake as shown before. Rotate by the hand the main shaft. And now make sure that you're in the middle of the stitch plate. In the case of this, you lift up the pressure foot. And then you are able to rotate the stitch plate until it's in the middle and tighten the screws well. The Sprint 5 is a little bit different. The Sprint 5 does not have a brake for the main shaft. That's why we need to adjust the main shaft with a special tool. You find the tool in all toolboxes. In this case, I have to open here the little blade with an Allen key. Rotate the plate. Take then the special tool and bring it into the main shaft. And now you are able to get in to the degrees you need as well to hold the main shaft. 